Hi, this is Joanna and today I'm creating a clean and simple Valentine card and I'm using um, Nina Solo White and I'm scoring it at five and a half using my Martha Stewart mini scoring board and I'm creating some um, dimensional inlay die cutting so I will need a card base and a card front and I cut the card front to be slightly smaller than the card base and then I'm using some Distress ink to lay down some uh, colors uh, in the middle and I'm trying not to apply too much pressure because I want uh, uh, the color to be fairly smooth And then I'm using some Hero Arts uh, ink, and this is Raspberry Jam, and I'm using this um, stamp from Paper Smooches. It's a little little kiss, and and I tried also to do some stamping with the uh, Distress ink, but I didn't thought I I don't think it works. So I'm uh, just using the Hero Arts ink, and I'm doing first and second generation stamping to create some interest. And here I'm just trying out to see if the dies will fit, and they did, so now it's time to do some die cutting. And I'm just lining up the dies using my grid mat, using uh, both the horizontal and the vertical lines. And then I just pick them up with some tape. And I'm using posy tape, but of course you can use whatever tape you have. And then I'm using my T-square ruler to uh, make sure that I will die cut the letters straight. And here they are, die cuts. So I will save these letters for later. And now I will uh, die cut the same letters from white cardstock. And I'm die, die cut each letter three times. And then I just use my glue pen to adhere them together. And now the, they are all glued together and I use my A to G to adhere the card front to the card base. And then I just adhere the white letters uh, using my glue pen again. And then it's time to adhere the stamped letters. And here on camera, it looks like uh, the letters are invisible. But in real life, uh, you can really see the dimension. <laughs> so I promise, <laughs> in real life, you can still see that it says hugs. And here's a picture of it, if you don't believe me. And here I remembered that I wanted to round the bottom corners, so I'm just using my palette knife to separate separate the both, pe both pieces so I can round the bottom corners. And I think that uh, finish off the card. And then I just use some Wink of Stella to emphasize the letter even more. And if you are interested in any of the products that I used, they are linked below in the vi uh, video or over at my blog at heartedbyheart.com. But thanks for watching and take care. Bye!